Eurobike Day 2, hundreds of acres of the best bike and kit. But the question is, will we see another motor gearbox combination? Well, will we see something to revival it? That's the question. Or is this the end of the derailleur as we know it? Okay, let's get things rolling. We haven't actually got a motor gearbox unit, but we possibly have something which could be better. This is the Crossworks bike from Germany, 140 mil travel, full aluminium frame in it. It's got the Gates carbon drive and the new Bosch SX motor, Adam. Yeah, I think that paired with the classified hub solves the derailleur problem. There's nothing there. And it's such a clean look on this bike. The Gates carbon drive, adds to the aesthetic. And hey, it's an aluminium bike. Do we want to see more aluminium bikes that are lightweight and such nicely designed bikes? Wow, what I love about Eurobike is the diversity of tech that you get here, especially e-bike motors. This is a company called Truck Run from Wuxi, which is 100K south of Shanghai, or at least near Shanghai. Now, I'm gonna show you the kind of differences in weights and sizes here. This is the 250 newton meter max power. I think it's 2,200 watts. Uh, this is their biggest motor, four kilos. So if, you know, we've been seeing the kind of likes of the pinion, uh, you know, uh, MGU drive, so that's four, four kilos. That's what four kilos looks like, and you can barely lift up four kilos. Obviously, that's for a for an urban sort of um, uh, cargo bike. And here we have one of their lightest units. Now, this is actually 1.6 kilos, 50 newton meters. It's a really dinky little unit. I think it's very cool. Obviously, it comes with a with a battery there of 250 watt hours. So uh, that's a company called Truck Run. They've got loads of other motors here. They've got hub drives. They've got different mid drives. So um, yeah, nice to check in with those guys. Just a quick one, guys. Uh, the world's mountain bike industry been chasing lightweight for three decades. Is this the world's lightest e-mountain bike? 130 mil Scott Lumen, 12.9 kilos, which is custom made by Danger Home. Lots of nice parts in it. It's very much a cross-country bike. Um, I don't know, what's your thoughts? Uh, now, creating lively, engaging e-mountain bike suspension is quite an art, and I think the Merida e 60 is very much close to the top of the list in that respect. But not everybody wants a full suspension bike, uh, and we've not actually had a hardtail on today's show, so here it is. Uh, a hardtail from Merida, 750 watt hour down to battery, and the fantastic Shimano EP6 motor. KTM have very much raised their game with the design of some of their bikes. This is the Machina Scarp SS Exonic, uh, 130 mil travel, 29 inch wheels, and featuring the new Bosch SX motor with a 400 watt hour battery in the down tube, which is demountable. Uh, 11,000 euros, 16.5 kilos for this bike. I'm going to show you an example of a less expensive bike over here. And this is the SX Master. It's a kilo heavier, but then the price is 4,000 euros less expensive at 6,299 euros. Obviously, it doesn't have electronic uh, shifting, but then again, do you actually need that? This has got an example of the Bosch 250 watt hour range extender on there. Uh, yeah, fantastic looking bikes. I keep saying we're onto something special, but this one here is something special within there. This is a Brose motor or a Brose supplies motor to SRAM. Now, we've seen this bike on the circuit with Alex Marin and Johannes Fishback for the Gas Gas SRAM team. Let's see what comes in the next coming months. We're at the classified stand, and I think possibly one of a key innovation, I think, is the ability to be able to go down a gear from a gradient like that to that. Is it gonna work? Yeah, for sure. Give us a demonstration. There we go. Nice, easy, stop, shift. And we're back up to power. I mean, it goes both ways. It's not just for climbing, it's for descending, right? Clearly. So it's not only the fact that you can do it when it's stationary, you can actually do it under load. So you can see here I'm spinning quite steady and then I change it and we're into the harder, into the harder, slower cadence. So it, this is just incredible. Like it's, it's, this is gonna be the biggest change in my eyes. It feels pretty smooth, right? Incredible, incredible. And you know, e-bikes are gonna take off. What we, what we need to know from John, this is John. John's not allowed to say anything from Classified. Uh, I reckon we need to get one of these on an e-bike. Right, John? 
I think what I'll say at the moment is this is ready to go for analog bikes. Uh, we are doing some testing with the Commentau team. Um, and yeah, we're testing is all I'm going to say. Honestly, I can't wait. I think this is a key innovation for e-bikes. I just can't wait for it to happen. Now, something comes to my mind. We've talked about the Bosch SX motor. Now, it's a high cadence motor to get that 600 watt output. Something like this, that makes it a whole lot easier to be able to get the power you need at the points you need it on that motor. Pair those up, it's a winning combo, right? So back on board the hype train, we've got Bulls. Now, this is quite an interesting frame design on there, but it's, yeah, again, pinion gearbox. It suits the style of this bike, I think, a hell of a lot. But I think the coolest thing about this is the integration of the display and how neat the cockpit is with the minimal controllers. So, yeah, have a quick look at that. Meanwhile, back in the real world, we've been having a discussion of what is a boutique bike. Well, I actually think this is a boutique bike because it's a stunning bike. Uh, this is uh, an example of uh, a 130, 140 with a Bosch new SX motor. 400 watt hour battery in the down tube, range extender on the top tube. Um, 5,999 euros. This is the entry level version of the Sonic Evo AM SX1. Uh, I'm gonna have a look now at the top end version. Uh, obviously the difference is in the specification. The other bike had Dior drivetrain and brakes. This bike has got, oh, it's got a derailleur which apparently lots of people jump up and down on. But you know, the gears go up and down, the suspension goes up and down, the wheels go round and round. Uh, like I said, the weight difference, 600 grams. I'd probably go for the 5,000 euro bike. I think Bulls is a really interesting brand in that it actually one of the few uh, brands has got five different motors. The Fang, Bosch, Bros, Pinion and Shimano. This is an example of a Shimano bike. It's, it's very much a boutique bike, 14,999 euros. Um, but look at it, beauty. And here's an example of a hub gear belt drive for 3,000 euros. I know why Steve likes this. Espresso grinder. So Steve was lucky enough to have a try of the new Shimano Auto Shifter Free Shift. Now, I'm lucky enough to get my hands on it now. And hey, this is pretty cool. I can check my phone, do my text, have pizza, have a coffee, slow down my cadence, and the whole system works just pretty flawlessly. This is, it's smooth, it's cool. And uh, yeah, you've got to try it. You really need to try it to see what it's all about. Grape have got a brand new bike with the Fazua Ride 60 motor. This is the Zany 150 mil travel, 29 inch wheels, and with a huge specification at 5,999 euros. So I read the Fazua sand, and while I was out at Riva del Garda Festival, I was lucky enough to have a little test on the Ride 60 motor update. So I rode a pivot, so it's all open news now, but the Ride 60 update was insane, the difference. It was instant engagement, it made the bike feel so much more responsive. So hey, if you haven't already updated your motor, it's a free update, get on that. M1, very much a boutique brand. Uh, three different motors uh, in their mountain bike range. This is the Erzberg, 750 watt hour battery. This is the Bros AS Mag, uh, 150 mil travel, 27.5 wheels. Then we've got the mighty TQ 120 motor on the Spitzing, uh, 120 newton meters on that motor, 29, 27.5, uh, 170 mil travel front, 165 on the rear. But if you guys come over here a second, if I get into amongst the crowd. Uh, this is the new um, new bike with the SX motor, the Bosch SX motor. Uh, 27.5 wheels, six and a half thousand pounds. I mean, what a stunning looking bike. Uh, batteries easily dismountable on that bike, but I think this is very much the flagship of here. 17.5 kilos for a 170 mil travel bike. This is the World Cup. I mean, it comes at a price, 15,000 euros. M1 have got a great example here of how the SX motor can benefit you in more ways than just the power assist. So they've got the GT400 SXP and it's, a, it's got all the accessories. I mean, I, I doubt you probably put all of this on, but hey, it's all for some. Mugs, bananas, extra power pack, and you've got the Power More 250 on there. So super capable and loads of choice to go wherever you need to. The very best coffee at Eurobike is from Terry and Mario uh, at the Shimano stand. I think it's a double espresso day. Talking about new stuff, I haven't ever heard of this brand before. This is Bix, they're a Swiss brand. They, this is the Sign EX now. 
Shimano EPA01 400 watt hour battery with the capability of a 400 watt hour range extender and 18 and a half kilos. So full power, mid power, low power. I don't really know what to say. I've been told no price yet. It remains a mystery. Wow, what a day. Uh, I certainly think the Crossworks bike is a solution to the no derailer business on the back of a bike together with that classified hub, right? Yeah, I think that's a big, big game changer. And I think if we see that on more EMTBs, then we've got something seriously to rival those internal gearboxes. But the thing that's really set apart for me is how many bikes are now starting to come with that Bosch SX motor. Actually, talking about Bosch, folks, there is an e-bike weekend, E23, hosted by Bosch at uh, Peebles at the end of August. So we leave the link uh, down below. So get your entry in.